Hello, hello. Thank you for coming and spending some time with me. My name is Jennifer and this is Jen the Bookworm. Uh, I appreciate you coming to check me out. If this is your first time, welcome. And if this is not your first time, welcome back. So today I want to do a short little wrap up of April and kind of give you an idea of what I'm going to read in May. Currently today it is uh, April 25th, so we're not done with April yet. But um, I wanted to quickly film this. Um, I'm anticipating some uh, things to do towards the end of the month. So I wanted to make sure to get this out there. Now I've already put up kind of what I did for April. Um, if you caught my last video, the uh, TBR Blitz, uh, Keymark Discord, Readathon, um, then you'll know that I've, I've, what I've already read for this month, roughly. Um, but I'll, I'll list them out again, but I'm not going to expand on them. If you'd like to hear more of my thoughts on them, then go and watch that other video. So right now, as it stands in April, I have read A Feast for Crows by George R. R. Martin, Neverwhere by Neil Gaiman, Phased by Victoria Tekken, The Blade Itself by Joe Abercrombie, Before They Are Hanged by Joe Abercrombie, and I have started but not yet finished The Last Argument of Kings by Joe Abercrombie that I anticipate I will get done with that. It is a little bit longer than the other two books, which hovered around 22 hours. This is 27 hours, but um, I have several days left uh, in the month. I do not antip anticipate it being a hard hardship to finish this. Um, but if I don't finish it, then I'll, it'll leak over into May and that'll be just fine. So that'll be six books, provided I can get that last one done. Six books that I've read in April. And, um, and I'm very, very happy to have done so. Um, the TBR Blitz, the purpose of it was to, pro to prod you to read the things that you already had on your TBR. Whatever reason, whatever excuses that you were giving yourself for maybe not this one this time, or maybe not that one that time, to give you an excuse to say, yeah, we'll do this one this time. And so I read five really good books that were on my TBR that were just hanging out there that um, I had plans to read A Feast for Crows for sure, but the other ones I didn't have hard and fast plans for when I was going to read them, just eventually one day I was going to read them. So this gave me an excuse to get through those, and I did, and I'm very proud of myself for having gone through all those. This month is Camp NaNoWriMo, and in uh, NaNoWriMo, which stands for National Novel Writing Month. It usually takes place in November, but uh, they do have a couple of smaller crowds that try to do in April and in July. And this month I decided to participate. It's where you try to write, try to commit yourself to writing 50,000 words in a manuscript of some sort in this month. So I started on April 1st and have been every day, every single day, <laughs> doing at least 1,667 words. That's how many words you need to do every day to get to 50,000 words in a 30 minute, uh, 30, uh, day month. So I have been working on that. I've succeeded in getting over that most, most of the time by a good margin. Uh, some of the time, you know, I do 1,700 or 1,800 words. Sometimes I'm in the twenties. But I've every day I've put something, put put words down on paper at least 1,667, and I tell you what, it's it's a great feeling to get all those words out, but it's right now kind of I don't know, it's kind of a slog because there are things I'd rather be doing, I guess. Um, not so much rather be doing than this book. There's not other books I'd rather be writing. It's just. I don't know the, the, there are other things that I'd rather be doing that sometimes sitting down and taking the time to do these words is, um, is a hardship. But once I get them out, I always feel so proud of myself for doing so. And I am proud of myself and really glad because I've tried to do nano twice now since starting booktube, but I, once in July and I had just started booktube and booktube was new and shiny and nano was not. And then I tried in November, but I also was going on a cruise that month and um, also trying to keep up with BookTube and my daughter's birthday and Thanksgiving. And it was just, it was a lot to expect of myself. 
And so this was my redemption month. I just, I needed to make sure that I could still do this and happy to report that I can. I've written over 45,000 uh, words so far. I still have a few days to um, finish up my 50,000 words, but uh, I am on track to getting those done. If I keep writing the way I'm writing, the program tells me I should be done uh, today or tomorrow. I still have um, a few thousand words yet to write, so we'll see. Um, I should get it done though within the next couple of days. So, uh, so that's something else I've been doing in April and I have been, as much as I just made that sound like such a hardship, it's not that bad. It was, it was a little bit of a slog, but I was very proud of myself for doing it. And I'm very proud of myself for reading the books that I read. And so all in all, I think April has been a very successful month. Moving on to May and my May TBR, I want to do something a little bit different than what I've been doing. Um, and mostly this is because I'm blaming this on my sister. Hashtag blame sister. Uh, but when I read, um, and I hope that you have uh, watched the um, the vlog I did with her where we went through and was do, doing a 24-hour reading challenge. But after the 24-hour reading challenge ended, we continued reading that series. And we just binge read an entire series of like seven books and it was really fun. And it's the way I used to read before booktube. And so I was real, I don't know, kind of nostalgic for that. So I, that's part of the reason why in April I decided to read, um, to fit into the, the Blitz, a trilogy and, and to read, you know, just, I want to binge read a little bit more. I, I breaking it up like I have been doing for booktube. It's about getting a variety of things in there because if you don't like Brandon Sanderson or you're over listening to people gush about Brandon Sanderson. If I've read three Brandon Sanderson books and that's all I have to offer you, you can click on to somebody else and fair enough. So I try to break things up so that I at least have something that someone might be interested in. If you're not interested in the Brandon Sanderson stuff, you might be the Stephen King stuff or whatever. So, um, but I miss binge reading. So in May, I'm kind of setting myself up a little bit to have a chance to do a little bit of binge reading and mood reading as well. I I really love having a TBR. It really helps me to organize my reads and to know where I'm going next, which is essential because if I just like, well, I'll just read whatever I feel like reading at the time, I might not pick something up because I get frozen from having so many different choices, you know? Making those choices early on has seemed over this last you know, a bit of time, almost a year on booktube, it seems to have worked for me. So, um, I didn't think mood reading was something that I would need or want. Uh, but since I am giving myself a chance to binge read, I'm also going to give myself a chance to mood read because there's a couple of series that I could, uh, binge read right now. Before the binge reading happens though, there are two different books that I want to prioritize. One of them is The Titan's Curse by Rick Riordan. It's the third book in the Percy Jackson series and my daughter has just finished it. And I promised her that I would read it. And I, my intention was to read it with her, but she was reading it in April and I was already reading other things in April and I couldn't fit it in. Um, so I, I told her I would read it in, in May and so she is patiently, not patiently waiting to have me read it so that we can talk about what happened. Um, so I promised her I would read that book. So I'm going to read that book. And I also, um, in, have been trying to, to get together with, um, Alex from Tall Guy Reads. I'll have his information below. Um, and he, he had, he's the one who, he's one of the people who really kind of talked me into, um, listening to and uh, The Exorcist by uh, William Peter Blatty. And if you were around in October, you know I loved that book and gushed on that book. Um, I think it made it to my top 10 um, 2022 reads. Uh, if it didn't, it should have. I'm pretty sure it did. Um, but I, it's it's an excellent book, but there's a second book in, in the, I don't know if you if it's considered a series or what, but there is a second book. I think the second book um, highlights the 
the cop from from the exorcist and so it's called legion and alex had said hey i'm up for reading this if anyone's up for reading it so um i found it on sale picked it up and said hey when do you want to read it um we had talked about doing it in march but march got too busy for him and so he contacted me and said hey how about may and now it's sounding like maybe not may maybe it maybe towards the end of may so if it doesn't happen this month it is not the end of the world we will pick it up some other month there will be a month when both of us have time um, and i can be a patient person so um but that is a possibility of what of a book that i'll be reading this month um after that my mood reading slash binge reading i i intend to read the Mistborn series, Mistborn Era 1. I've read the first book already and I got my partner roped into it and he's read the whole trilogy of the Mistborn Era 1 trilogy and is now a little salty that I haven't. So I need to. I <laughs> will catch up with him. Uh, so that is a priority. That's what I'm going to start reading is the Mistborn ones. But if I have more time, uh, if Legion doesn't work out or if it gets pushed to the end, Percy Jackson's not going to take me very long to read. Um, if I have more time after Mistborn, I have several ongoing um, series that I could I could continue on with. The Dresden Files being one of them. Um, Cradle series being another one. Uh, I started reading the Aurelian Cycle series, uh, the first book being Fireborn. Um, that was a really good really good book Rosario Munda and um there's a two more in the in the trilogy and I'd like to read those um I started Greenbone Saga with Jade City but I haven't moved on but I have those books and could do that um and also the Winnowing Flame series I only have the last book in the trilogy and I could read that and finish that series up but I'm gonna let my mood dictate after Mistborn I'm gonna read Mistborn for sure and then after that, I'm going to let my mood dictate what what to read and and hopefully pick up a series and binge read it. And I will let you know how that works out. So that's what I plan to do in May. That's what I did in April. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed this. If you did, please leave me a like or uh, subscribe. I am trying to do a push towards 100 subscriptions. I'm hovering around 80 three or so at the moment. So if you feel so inclined, I would appreciate a subscription. I would appreciate a like and comment down below. What are you going to be reading in, in May? I'm interested in, and we can have conversation. So thank you very much for coming and spending this time with me. I really appreciate it. And I hope you have a great rest of your day.